Prime Day 2022 is just weeks away and is expected to blow past 2021's record sales number of $11.2 billion. To make the most of this incredible sales opportunity in 2022, you need the right strategy and the right data to get ahead and to stay ahead. Takeometrics is hosting a multi-day virtual event walking you through everything you need to succeed in Prime Day of this year. We have three separate virtual events leading up to Prime Day that cover a wide range of topics to give you the upper edge in this year's Prime Day. I'll see you on May 18th for the Countdown to Prime Day first virtual event. See you then. All right, I'm joined by Pearl and Sean. We're talking about inventory, everything having to do with inventory when it comes to Prime Day. So. Pearl, I'm going to start with you. I, I think you have a really good perspective on the overhead view of what's happening across the world when it comes to inventory, when it comes to shipping right now. So I'm wondering if you could just give us a snapshot of kind of the state of the world, of the state of the U.S. as well, because that's where the Prime Day conversation is largely focused. But just so everyone's kind of on the same page, what's happening in the world right now? Yeah, so so things, you know, the obviously our niche is not shipping by sea. But, you know, the, the, the world of sea shipping did go down in price, thankfully, thank God. Um, I can't say that the, the rates in the supermarkets have gone down because of that, but separate discussion. But bottom line is things are definitely way better, but there are, you know, different dates when it comes to selling internationally, which is something that we like to talk about, um, you know, selling in Canada, UK, Europe, et cetera. What are those cutoff dates? Those are things that we, you know, want to discuss get into so you're ready and you understand, you know, what to what to be ready for, really. So things have kind of cooled down from the intensity that we saw over the last couple of years. Absolutely. Things have cooled down, but there's still very much the, uh, you know, the focus on buying online. People are still very much very used to the fact of buying things rather on Amazon or other sites than, you know, going to a local grocery or supermarket, wherever they were buying stuff or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we're looking to purchase. So the demand is still very, very high. Um, People are still trying to keep up with getting things in fast enough. But thankfully, you know, the inventory limits Amazon has restricted people with for a while is much, much better. Um, Most notably this March, we've seen people got crazy, uh, you know, increases with their inventory limits. So that has been something that People are really excited about. People are starting to ship a lot more because of it, and because they're selling more, uh, you know, shipping more, they're selling more, vice versa. So, uh, you know, so let's let's let's, let's let's contextualize this in in hyper focus on Prime Day. Then, what does this current state of where things are and where they're headed right now? We're recording this on May 9th. so we have a little bit of time before Prime Day happens, right? Yeah. Inventory and shipping is something that you need to think about beforehand. So I'm wondering if you can just quickly contextualize for us uh, what what does the state current state of shipping and everything mean for sellers on Prime Day? What do they need to take into consideration? Yeah, so they they have to be very very focused on shipping in enough inventory to be surprised. You know, you never know if especially if you're having Prime Day deals um, dedicated to certain items. Don't just ship in enough for that because you never know if you're just going to sell out. And then obviously nobody wants to be sold out and then lose their ranking because of Prime Day. That's that's very nice and exciting that you had a great day. You want to think, you know, beyond that. Just ship enough for that plus, 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 and be rather, rather be on the safe side. Um, and, and people should be, you know, surprised at what's going to come up. You know, people want good deals these days. Everything is very expensive. Yep. Over, so you never know how things will turn out to be. Yep. Everyone always forgets to uh, remember the post Prime Day inventory strategy. That is essential. Uh, Sean, you're our IPI guy. You're much more than that. But in the context of this conversation, we're talking about IPI. I'm wondering if you can explain to us why IPI matters in the conversation of Prime Day specifically. Yeah, so really it's all about keeping your IPI score performing well for later in the year when you can be hit with inventory limits, right? So having a great day on Prime Day, like Pearl said, and then running out of stock could leave you in a really bad position later in the year when you're looking at a stock out that'll ding your IPI metrics. And all of a sudden, you're looking at lower IPI limits um, and inventory limits in Q4, and that's really going to hurt. So having that extra inventory to cover Prime Day sales, looking back at your historical sales data to see 
you know, how much did I sell last prime day? How much can I kind of guesstimate I need to sell this year? And then taking that into account to make sure that you don't stock out, even if you have a great prime day. Mm, okay. So people, so prime day, because it is such a high velocity, high potential, high potential sales day for a lot of people, it has the potential to really impact people's IPI now, but also in the long term, looking ahead to the rest of the year. So that's why it matters. I'm wondering, you, you touched on a couple of quick hitting things, tips for, for people, but I'm wondering if you can just kind of break that down again. What, what are the biggest things you suggest to get ready for a healthy IPI? What are the top things you think people need to take into consideration? Sure. So really you want to keep like a good handle on how much you have at Amazon. There's a, definitely a sweet spot of staying in stock um, without stocking out and not having too much either. Obviously prime day, being a much higher volume day than the rest is really going to throw that off a little bit. Um, to get a handle on that, you've got to look back at your historical data for Prime Day in the past. It's a very short window. You're going to see, you know, if you're doing well, a huge spike. And so you just want to make sure that you're looking back and getting a gauge of how much you need to, to stay in stock through Prime Day so that even if you get low, you don't run out altogether, right? Because getting, getting low is not going to hurt as much. Um, and ideally, you want to stay on that sweet spot. But if at the very least, you keep from going out of stock altogether, you're going to be in a much better shape come Q4 when you get those, those evaluations coming in. And the key thing to remember there is that by the time Q4 rolls around, you're kind of locked in with your inventory limits. So you've got to have your strategy Q1, Q2, Q3 nicely locked in so that when Q4 rolls around, you're good to go because you really can't make quick fixes to your inventory limits at that point. Biggest takeaway, biggest last thing uh, leading up to May 18th, what, what do you want people to remember when it comes to inventory, when it comes to Prime Day? Yeah, so so one tip that I, that I just uh, remembered was do not request right now from Amazon for additional inventory limits. So there has been this, this option where you could go to seller support, tell them, you know, you're looking to either send in a new ASIN or you would like to just get approved for a higher um, uh, inventory limit count. And Amazon did approve many sellers for that. As of a week ago or a week and a half ago, Amazon is stopping to approve that just because of Prime Day leading up to Prime Day. So oh, wow. and, yeah, so we've heard this from Amazon and we've seen actually the, the, the client requests that sellers have been getting. So I would say don't use up your chances, quote unquote, with requesting for this because it's it's most likely not going to get approved. And we've seen some really big sellers not getting approved. So I would say wait till after Prime Day to approve something like this because you, you don't want to use up your credits, so to speak, for Q4. Sean Pearl, I know this is quick hitting, but it's really good information and it's good to preface for our countdown to Prime Day on May 18th, specifically the Inventory Optimization Workshop with both of these masters of e-commerce. So Sean Pearl, thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to May 18th. Thank you, we can't thank wait. You.